if you uh, have been listening to us talking about the Internet of Things for the last couple of years, security continues to be one of our great concerns. And all too often because an application is created uh, by the manufacturer of a chipset, the chipset is integrated into a device, whether we're talking about a router or a light bulb or some other strange, you know, thermometer, sensor, gadget, door lock, uh, and oftentimes very little work is done by the actual manufacturer and distributor of the widget that you're buying for your ever-growing Internet of Things in your home or your vehicle. Um, Trend Micro discovered vulnerabilities in the Qualcomm Snapdragon, Snapdragon 800 series, the 800, 805, and the 810 uh, running the 3.10 version kernel. Um, updates have been pushed out to resolve these on phones. Uh, and it was a pretty big deal uh, because this was uh, a vulnerability that showed up in the Nexus 5, Nexus 6, Nexus 6P, Samsung Galaxy Edge, Android handsets. Um, and they all have security updates, assuming, of course, that your carrier is allowing you to push that. Um, but the issue is that uh, attackers could gain root access to the device with a specially crafted app. That's a big deal. Root access means essentially they can do anything they want on your computer. Uh, or your handheld device, your phone, your tablet, your Internet of Things gadget. Um, this is this sucks um, because in many cases people are never going to update the software or firmware for the device, and all too often, uh, software and firmware is not something that is particularly well uh, man, uh, not particularly uh, uh, thought of or budgeted for, especially over time. If, you know, if you've looked at your router and thought, gosh, there's never been a firmware update for it, or gosh, there hasn't been a firmware update for it since six months after it was launched and it's three or four years old, imagine buying a thermometer that could potentially be a security risk for years and or decades. Um, Trend Micro is not revealing all the details of the vulnerability, uh, uh, but they do want people to be thinking about, um, you know, the Internet of Things and the chips that power them may not be very secure. So, you know, there's, uh, man, yeah, this, this is a big deal. Um, it will continue to be a big deal.